When was the first time you heard about climate issues? For most of us, that conversation has been going on for as long as we can remember. And while there has been some progress, we're not all equally responsible for the damage. Research by Oxfam has revealed that the richest 1% of the world's population are responsible for more than twice as much pollution as the 3.1 billion people who make up the poorest half of humanity. Emissions from private yachts and jets are thousands of times higher than an average person's emissions. If we include emissions from billionaires' fossil fuel investments, their carbon emissions are a million times higher. It follows then that the rich should contribute the most to the reducing emissions bill. Is that happening though? Absolutely not. In fact, the opposite is. The world's poorest people are already struggling with disasters fueled by climate change, like floods, fires, droughts, and storms. Meanwhile, big corporations and billionaires continue to make huge profits from climate destruction and dodge taking meaningful action. So what do we do? Firstly, Australia, along with other world governments, needs to stop giving money to polluting companies. Secondly, we need to tax the one person's wealth and investment in polluting companies. Finally, we need to put pressure on our elected representatives to do something. We need legislation that genuinely moves the needle on our emissions. The most important thing you can do is to share this with your mates or sign a petition advocating for systemic change. The link to that is in our bio. It's time to unaccept a broken system that's killing our planet.